www.worshipradio.fm or follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Worship Radio INT. This is the future. Well, good afternoon, my Wealth Builders audience. I welcome you and I greet you in the matchless name of my Lord and hopefully your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Wow, do I have a show for you today. I've got a very, very, very special guest on today. However, before I introduce my guest, before I introduce my topic, we're going to go right to a commercial. As you know, I launched my own brokerage on Rosh Hashanah. That's right, the new year, the Jewish new year. And it is called Global Scope Real Estate Solutions. I have a property that I just listed. I would love to sell it to you, your sister, your daughter, your neighbor, your cousin, your colleague, your church member, whoever's interested. Now, without further ado, I want to let you see this beautiful, beautiful property. I have listed at 45849 Greystone Lane in Canton, Michigan. Welcome to 45849 Greystone Lane. Let's take a step inside this spacious beauty. Take a look at the sleek kitchen and all the other wonderful elements. We'll come up the steps and begin to see the open design and the kitchen. I'll get back to the kitchen in a moment. First, I'm gonna to go to the left and we'll see all the light coming in through this big window for the master bedroom. It's looking out to the courtyard. We have a walk-in closet here. Closet number two and three and the master bathroom. Coming back out of the bedroom and then going to the right, we'll see plenty of light coming in through the bay windows for the living room. This also looks to the courtyard. Turn around once more, we see the living room, or the dining room, sorry, and the cozy private balcony. Now we have the first amazing element, the breakfast bar. Granite countertops, custom glass, backsplash, carpet floors. Here's our half bath. All right, I hope you enjoyed that beautiful, beautiful property. And again, if you have any interest or if you have a property that you want to sell, if you have a property that you want to buy, who do you call? That's right, your realtor choice, Billionaire Beverly of Global Scope Real Estate Solutions. That's right, Billionaire Beverly. And you also need a home for your business. Sometimes we're not working out of our home. Sometimes we actually want a separate building location. So I also sell and um, market commercial real estate as well. So whether you need a home for your home or whether you need a home for your business, call your realtor of choice, Beverly Jordan, billionaire Bev of Global Scope Real Estate Solutions. Now, back to my beautiful, wonderful guest today. I want you all to know that uh, this is a highly esteemed woman of God. Oh God. I love, I honor, <laughs> I bless her. I have none other than author extraordinaire. Uh, she's also the newly appointed COO of Worship Radio International. Uh, she has her own ministry. She's twice over an author. 
She's a leader, a mother, a grandmother, mm -hmm. um, uh, certainly a friend and uh, an associate of mine and ministry mm -hmm. partner. And so I am so honored to present to some and introduce to others this wonderful woman of God, Linda Hunt. Thank Destiny you. helper. Th thank you. Thank you, Prophet Beverly. Mm -hmm. I am so honored and esteemed to be a part of this broadcast. It feels funny sitting on this side yes. of the desk. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So I greet your audience today in the name, the matchless name of Jesus Christ. I am so uh, honored to be here with you and talking about this very important subject. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, let's, I didn't tell her why I invited her, Linda Hunt, as my very first guest. Amen. But I'm going to get to that in a minute. Okay. I'm just going <laughs> to let you all remain in suspense. Some months ago, I heard a man of God talking about destiny helpers. And the message so stuck with me, it just kept ringing in my spirit. And I realized as I thought about that message, I realized as I examined my own life, all the destiny helpers that God have sent me in the different forms and different facets over my life. Now, let me tell you what a destiny helper is. A destiny helper is someone that will help you get to your destiny. And in different seasons and stages and phases of our life, we have different destinations. And God has, I want to read this scripture in Ephesians, uh, Ephesians 2 and 10, where it says, we were predestined, that means determined before time, mm -hmm. for we are God's handiwork and created for Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. In advance, before the foundation of the world. Want to read another scripture? And then we're going to shift. And we know that all things work, all things work, in God, work for the good of those that love him, who have been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he also predestined, meaning a beforehand, had already been planned, to be conformed into the image of his son, that we might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, predestiny, he also called those that he called, he also justified, and those that he justified, he also glorified. Mm -hmm. And we need divine helpers yes. to take us, to help us get from glory to glory to glory to glory. And we know that the word of God says that the heavens belong to the Lord. Mm -hmm. But the earth has he given to man mm -hmm. and we are to rule and reign in our places of dominion. And there are seasons where we rule and reign in dominion. And only because of this destiny helper am I sitting here today. Man. She invited me. She didn't know. She didn't know what I was going to say. She didn't know that in this series of destiny helpers, the reason I asked her to be my very first guest mm -hmm. is because God used Linda Hunt, CEO of her own ministry and business, COO of Worship Radio International, mm -hmm. author, woman of God, sister, covenant sister, right. ministry partner to promote me. She served as a destiny helper. Mm -hmm. Wow. So when she invited me here uh, several times on her own program, mm -hmm. which is Marketplace Connection. Yes. Yes. One day, her producer, mm -hmm. none other than Prophet Blaine Irving, right. said, oh, you've got to be on the show. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to know this destiny helper invited me several times to join the program, but I mm -hmm. kept saying, no, 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 no. It's not the time. <laughs> I made up every excuse, but I want you to know God had them tag team me on that day. Mm -hmm. Not that they had planned it, right? God planned it because she was a destiny helper that extended her scepter mm. of the authority that was given to her in the earth, in this region, in this hour, in this territory, where she had been given rulership 
and favor mm -hmm. and extended it to me to walk through the doors of access called Worship Radio International wow. that you may be, be hearing from me, Dr. Beverly Jordan of Wealth Builders. With that, I'm going to hand it over. I want to hear from this woman of God. Wow. She has recently authored a book and she's been a destiny helper in some of these women of God life who have never, you've never heard of them until as far as being a printed and written authors, published authors until this destiny helper connected with them to launch, to push, to help them birth into their destiny. So with that woman wow. of God, I just want wow. you to flow in the Holy Ghost <laughs> wow. of what God has put in you. Wow, uh, Dr. Beverly, I am just so, I'm telling you, I don't even know what to say. I, I am speechless behind that because, you know, when you're walking in your purpose and what God has called you to do, you're not really even thinking that you're really a destiny helper or that you're helping people uh, carve out uh, their their path that God has already predestined before them. Come on. Because I was always, I'm a servant, first mm -hmm. of all. And I believe before you can even help somebody else, you have to learn, just like Jesus said, I didn't come to be served, I came to serve. And I, um, in my walk and, and my walk with the Lord um, and the different paths that he has had me in, it's always mm -hmm. been in a servant capacity in the sense that I, you know, I was a, a adjutant or an armor bearer to my pastor at that particular time and serving the apostle woman of God as a armor bearer or an adjutant um, is serving somebody in second, you know, your second command or you're in that serving position and to the commanding officer. And so um, I learned how to serve, you know, from being in the church. Come on. And so that was my first, um, you know, uh, encounter with Excuse really me. serving somebody. Um, you're giving your time. You're, you know, you're doing things for them, and you don't really even think about it. And so God was preparing me, and then took me into sales, um, you know, uh, selling cars. So again, I'm serving people, but. I always knew that my call was not so much in the four walls of the church, but it was in the marketplace. Come on. And so I always have a desire to see particularly women that don't know who they are. They're mm -hmm. sitting, they love the Lord, um, they, they, they go to you know, church, uh, they're there, they're serving within the, in the uh, community of the church, but they are lacking in their own identity. That's good. And so I, you know, have a passion um, and I mean, it's really a passion to see women uh, walk in who God has called them to be. Um, you know, just like that scripture that you read, you know, mm -hmm. and it was already predestined Come that on. I would be here before the beginning of time. He yeah. knew me from my mother's womb and what I would be doing. And so I don't mm -hmm. take it lightly yes. when I do the things that I do with women. And it's not even like I told them when we, you know, the uh, anthology that I have coming out now, which is called Gathering the Fragments, that nothing uh, will be lost. Um, it was more than writing their story. Uh, their story is to bring transformation, deliverance, healing to other women that will read their stories. Come on. And so that's my purpose. And then take that and make a business out of it. Take it and you can go on the stages of the world. You can do online courses. Mm -hmm. You can do all kind of different things with the book itself, speaking, coaching, all of that. So mm -hmm. it's just taking that seed and yes. expanding upon it. Yes. Yes. And so that's what I'm called to do. Yes. And really without even knowing it, because trust yes. me, there's a lot of times I don't know what I'm doing. And I have to rely on God. I have to rely on the Holy Ghost. Show me how to do this. Yes. yes. You know, when you're walking in uncharted territory, you don't really know. Nobody really taught me. Right. Right. You know, right. and, and so I was just, you know, it was just a passion. It was a desire. And um, I just walked in and I said, God, I'm going to do this, you yes, know, and yes. with the help of, you know, Prophet Blaine and we did it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And doing it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Excellent. And that's one of the things, uh, audience, people of God, those that don't know God. And if you don't know God, let me just just stop right here. Just take a moment here to extend to you an opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. God the Father yes, sent God. his only begotten yes, Son God. because he so loved you. Despite your sins, despite what you did last night, 
He already knew even before the foundation of the earth. He knew that on October 1st, 2020, what you were going to do and that you didn't know him and didn't love him. But his arms of love and mercy mm -hmm. are still outstretched. And so if you will repeat after me, Heavenly Father, yes, I ask you to forgive me of my mm -hmm. sins and wash me of all unrighteousness. I accept your son, Jesus Christ, as my Lord and Savior. I ask you, Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart and to abide with me and teach me how to abide with you, that I remain in faithfulness and in righteousness as a new kingdom citizen, I pray in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 The Bible says that if you confess with, if you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart that God raised his son Jesus from the dead and that it, that you shall be saved. And so yes. if you believe that prayer, you believe it in your heart, you confess with your mouth, you shall be saved. And so I just want you to know just just right then I served as a destiny helper. Mhm. Mm Don't get locked into what destiny helpers look like. Mhm. Mm the woman of God, Linda, she shared with us. The prophet of God, she shared with us. The servant of God, she shared with us. The author of God, she shared with us. That it was in her. It was mm -hmm. just in her yeah. to serve, to help. And for all of those who want help, can I tell you? You must first help someone else. That's right. For all of those who want to build a business, why don't you help someone else build their business? Mm -hmm. For all of those who want to build a ministry, help someone else build their ministry. For all of those who want to be married, yes. help someone else build and strengthen their marriage instead of someone calling you and telling you that they're challenged in their marriage and you telling them to leave the man or leave the woman. Because in this life, you will have trials. Absolutely. You will have tri tribulations. But what are we to do? Endure. That's right. Hardness as a good soldier. Good soldier. Come on now. <laughs> See, destiny helpers remind you that there are going to be some challenges. Absolutely. Destiny helpers will tell you things you don't want to hear sometimes. Mm -hmm. Destiny helpers come in the form of your parents grandparents, neighbors, teachers, ministry leaders, uh, children. Sometimes children will help you, will say something to you to provoke you to a place of thought, small children and adult children. Mm -hmm. So as we continue on with these destiny helpers, we're going to talk more and more, even about destiny helpers in the Bible. Yes. I'm going to have, we didn't have full hour today, um, but I'm going to have Elder Linda Hunt back because she has more to share. Um, she's been a destiny helper, even with these new authors, some who have never been heard That's of, right. never published before. Never. It, uh, am right. I correct? That's correct. And But yet God caused her, I feel the Holy Ghost, mm. caused her to reach out to these women of God who were in the presence of God, seeking the fullness of God. Because one thing I've learned about our God, I have learned this. It took me a minute to get it. You don't have to promote yourself. You sure don't. You have to be in the will of God. And even when you get off, he'll send a destiny helper to push you back on course. But your challenge is, your responsibility is to submit to the destiny helper. Yes. And listen yes, to absolutely. the destiny helper. Wise counsel, admonishment rebuke sometimes people want to be would you agree mm -hmm. sometimes people want to be promoted yes they want to be celebrated yes they want to be honored mm -hmm. they want to be uh sit at the front mm -hmm. but don't want to follow counsel right don't want to follow instructions mm -hmm. the bible says that humility comes before honor That's right and so sometimes when we're looking for our destiny helpers or when God is orchestrating our destiny helpers, sometimes they don't look like we want them to look. They're That's not right. responding 
the way we want them to respond. They're not being controlled by our demons and, and evil ways and manipulations right. <laughs> because they see right through you and bring correction. Yeah, and sometimes they're younger than you. You know, Come on. It, it doesn't have to be an age, you know, an age thing uh, for you to have a destiny helper in your life. It could be somebody younger than you, but God has given them the wisdom, has given them the knowledge, has given them the ingenuity to know how to do things and to help you get where you need to go. So you can't even despise somebody that might be younger than you mm -hmm. that can be your destiny helper. That's exact. That's exactly right. Now, I hope you heard that. Mm hmm. And I know for me, a lot of times, not just in the work in my, in my children, right. but my children, I mean, they're all, you know, they're way grown, way, way grown, uh, but they serve as destiny helpers. But even outside of that, I'm talking about younger people in the ministry. Yes, absolutely. Um, that serve for me as mm -hmm. uh, destiny helpers. That's right. Now, I didn't say serve me. I said serve for me. Meaning yes. I look at them as mm -hmm. destiny helpers. Mm -hmm. I'm submitted unto them as a destiny helper. Um, those that even in the workplace, when you, right. if you're in corporate or if you're in business, if you have someone on your team, mm -hmm. where if you're an entrepreneur, you have your own business and someone is on your team that may be younger, but yet they have a skill set, they have wisdom beyond That's their right. years, or they know how to open their mouth with wisdom and the law of kindness is on their tongue. Yes. So I want you to know that this is the hour, people of God, where God is going to begin to send you destiny helpers. And he's going to begin to show favor. I want to read this scripture as we get ready to close out. Because I know that this is a word of the Lord. So give me a moment, bear with me, and then I'm going to just let the Holy Ghost flow. And prophet, if you've got a word of prophet, if you want to flow, we flow together. Mm -hmm. Listen, you know, there's no, no uh, hesitation or hindrance in the spirit of God and in the spirit of unity and love. Amen. Amen. The king in 2 Samuel 9. Chapter 9, and then I'm going to read verse 3. I'll skip to 7 and read verse 13, 7 through 13. 2 Samuel 9, verse 3, and then 7 through 13 verse, verses 7 to 13. The king asked, is there no one still alive from the house of Saul to whom I can show God's kindness? Ziba answered the king. There is still a son of Jonathan. He is lame in both feet. Don't be afraid, David said to him, for I will surely show you kindness for the sake of your father, Jonathan. I will restore to you all the land that belonged to your God grandfather, Saul, and you will always eat at my table. But Shibboleth bowed down and said, what is your servant that you should notice a dead dog like me? Now, let me just stop right there. He said that because he had been lame. He had been dropped, uh, um, like they said, when he was small because the servant was running and dropped him. And so mm -hmm. he was crippled. He was lame. And so he said in himself, and he said to the king, why would you even consider a dog like me? Mm -hmm. And so I want you to know, listen, listen, listen. You may consider yourself as not measuring up to right. those that have been sent to help you as your destiny helpers. But God has already ordained and predestined from the earth to cause you in this hour, for, to cause you to connect to your connection, shall be destiny helpers and destiny helpers shall connect with you and you shall sit at tables of kings that you didn't even know about, right. that you thought you would never even, you may not have even thought about it, less, less long conceived or perceived that God was sending you destiny helpers. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, when I open up my show, for those of you that have watched uh, the Marketplace Connection, and I say leap into your destiny. Come on. You know, expand your capacity, you know, and upgrade your thinking because God wants to give you more. Yes. And so that's one of the things that you have to do as a uh, destiny helper or the person that is trying to be uh, that person coming into their destiny is that you have to allow your mind to be infiltrated with the word of God, with positive thinking, positive words. Uh, you have to, you have to fill your life and your days with positive thinking because the enemy is always coming to try and steal, 
kill and destroy. And God wants you to expand your capacity. Come How on. do you do that? You have to think positive about yourself. You have to th say words over yourself. You have to decree and declare over your life. I am capable of doing this, even if you don't feel that you have all of the necessary tools. But God will give you what you need in the hour that you need it. You just have to go for it. Don't allow fear to stop yes. you, disappointments, all of the things that have happened in life that you have. You just have to go forth in, you know, knowing that God is yes. going to be there at the very moment that you need him. My next anthology, I'm going to just tell you, and it, it just kind of fits in, is that it is going to be about living life without regret. Come on. Living and loving life without yes. regret. And because if you have regret about things that you didn't do, that's fear. That keeps you, oh, well, what if I did this? And I regret that. And I'm one of those that said, yeah, God, yeah, you know, if I had just started moments. sooner, 25 years ago. No, I'm walking in my Come purpose on. right now. Come on. Orchestrated from that's the foundation it. from of the foundation. predestined that's to it. be here. Right now. At such a time as this. Being a promoter, that's being right. a destiny helper that's right. of new authors yet to be birthed. That's right. Yes. 25 years ago, I probably wouldn't been ready for all of yes. this. You know, yes. but I am now mature, settled ready to do what God has called me to do. So you just have to be confident in yourself and you just have to go forth, push past all of the fear, all of the negativity, all of the naysayers and do what God has called you to do. Yes. Yes. And with that, um, we're going to close. One thing I do want to say to you and leave you with is that I want you to make certain that as your destiny helpers connect with you and you connect with them, you stay connected with the vine and That's that right. you also remember that you too need to be sharpened. So if it's school, if it's education, whatever mm -hmm. it is that you fulfill your role as a destiny helper or as a partaker of a destiny helper, because God will send those that are to help you, but then right. you are a sent one to help, help others. Somebody else. All right. That's right. God bless you. Thank you for joining us for Wealth Builders. Thank you, my guest, my beautiful, are, beautiful guest. You are welcome. Um, to Thank my skilled, you. anointed friend, sister, covenant sister in Christ. I thank each and every one of you. I pray that you've been inspired and provoked to be um, recipients of help, destiny helpers, and what you would be distributors as a destiny helper. All right? Love you now. Till next week. God bless you, Wealth Builders. Amen. You are listening to Worship Radio International, the world's number one online Christian radio station. Check out our website at www.worshipradio.faith or follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Worship Radio INT. This is the future.